The first step for adding or subtracting radicals is to simplify the radicals. Then once they're simplified, we can identify the like radicals and then add or subtract the like radicals by adding or subtracting the coefficients. So for our example, the first step is to simplify the square root of 50 x to the fifth and the square root of 18 x to the fifth. And because these are square roots, we want to identify the perfect square factors. So for the square root of 50 x to the fifth, if we recognize that 25 is a perfect square factor of 50 and nine is a perfect square factor of 18, this can save us some time, but we can also list the prime factorizations to help determine the perfect square factors, which is what we'll do here. So let's find the prime factorization of 50. 50 is equal to five times 10, five is prime, and 10 is equal to five times two, both of these are prime. So we can write this first term as negative two times the square root, and then for 50 we'll have two times five times five, and then for x to the fifth, since we're looking for groups of two equal factors, we'll write x to the fifth as x to the second times x to the second times x. Notice how we have five factors of x, but x squared would be a perfect square factor. And then for the second term, for the prime factorization of 18, we would have three times six, three's prime, and three times two, both prime. So 18 is equal to two times three times three. And then again, for x to the fifth, we'll write this as x to the second times x to the second times x. And again, because we have square roots, we're looking for groups of two equal factors. Here's a perfect square factor, here's a perfect square factor, and here's a perfect square factor. And then for the second term, here's a perfect square factor, as well as here and here. So the circled factors will simplify. The factor is not simplified, will not simplify. So for this first term, we'll have negative two times and the square root of five times five, or the square root of five squared would be five. So each group will simplify to one factor outside the square root. So we'll also have a factor of x from this group and a factor of x from this group. And then we're still left with the square root of two x plus five times, this would simplify to a factor of three, a factor of x from this group, and a factor of x from this group. And we still have the square root of two x. So this first term is negative 10 x squared times the square root of two x, plus this would be 15 x squared square root two x. Notice how both terms contain a factor of the square root of two x they're both square roots, so the indexes are both two, and both radicands are two x, which means these are like radicals, so we can add them by adding the coefficients. And since negative 10 x squared plus 15 x squared would be five x squared, the sum is equal to five x squared times the square root of two x. Notice when adding like radicals, the radical part does not change. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.